Hey guys, you're in the machine. Yoga for stiffies. And by stiffies, I mean people who are inflexible. Folks tell me all the time they'd like to do more yoga, but they're just too tight. Well, doing the yoga is how you get untight. I also recognize it can be a pain in the butt to be in a class with everybody turning themselves into a pretzel when you're not very flexible yourself. This routine is gonna back off the depth a little bit and offer some postures and exercises that are more accessible to people that are a little bit tighter. Let's do it. All right, stiffies. Front of the mat with your feet about hip width, parallel. Let's engage the midsection and neutralize the pelvis. That just means if your butt's poking out, squeeze your abs so that lumbar curve is gone and your hips and your ribs come closer together. Shoulders up, back and down. Let's engage for just a minute. A couple of real deep breaths. I'm engaging from my feet all the way up to my jaw. And I'm gonna inhale, real big, and exhale, real big. Just one more before we get started. Engage everything you can. Nice big exhale. We'll try to seal the lips, finish the practice using our nose only. Starting with the neck, we're gonna do a quick stretch. Right arm stays where it is, reaching down with the shoulder in place. Left hand's gonna reach over, gonna put the middle finger in the ear and pull to feel a little stretch on the side of the neck. Don't let your shoulder chase you. Everything stays in place except the head. Breathe into it, keep reaching down with your right fingers, pulling the neck only to the side, not forward or back. For three, two, one, switch it out other side, left arm reaches down, left shoulder stays in place, right middle finger hooks the ear, and we pull down for a stretch on the side of the neck. Nice and easy, warming up really quickly from the top down. Keep that shoulder in place, keep reaching the left fingertips down as you pull nice and gentle for three, two, one, back to mountain pose. Gonna move the arm to warm up the shoulder. Only the arm though, so don't move your shoulder or your upper body or your hips. Keep everything in place. Reach forward, all the way up as far as you can. Palm out, and then back. You should feel a stretch through the pec and the shoulder. One more time, reach forward, all the way up. Palm out, and back. Let's do one more, forward. Up as high as you can, feeling a stretch in the side body, palm out, and back, try it on the left, reach forward, all the way up, stretch in the side body, palm goes out, reach back, try to keep the rest of your body in place, again, inhale forward, reach up, turn the palm out, and all the way back, one more, reach forward, up, all the way up, palm out, and all the way back. Real quick one to stretch the upper back and the shoulder blades. We're gonna reach forward, palms together like a seal clap. Everything else stays in place. We separate the shoulders and reach as far as we can without bending the spine. So if there's any bend in the spine, it's just the upper back, but I'm not leaning like this. So everything's in place, right over left or left over right, and I push forward, Feeling a big separation in the scapula. Squeezing the palms together. Three, two, one. Relax and switch it. Put the other hand on top. Drive forward, arms are straight. Scapula apart, but otherwise we're standing upright. Separate, feel a pull between those shoulder blades. For three, two, one. Now really quick before we stretch the back, and the hamstrings, we're just gonna see how far we reach now. I guarantee at the end of the practice, you're gonna reach farther. So engage your quads, lean forward at the hips. When you max out, relax, and see how far down you can reach. Maybe you barely touch your knees or your shins, who cares? How far? Make a mental note of that, and come back up. We're gonna do a few more of those. So let's engage everything, except the hips are gonna move. Point our fingertips down. 
and with a flat back, fold as far as you can with your back flat. Shoulder blades are together. How far can you reach? Aim for your knees or your shins, and from there, let it round and reach as far as you can. Now, using the hamstrings in the back, go back to that point, shoulder blades together, big breath, exhale, round, as far as you can reach, it doesn't matter how far, remember this is yoga for stiffies, back up to that sticking point where your back is straight, exhale one more time, round it, and inhale, bring it back up to wherever your back was flat, it doesn't matter how high. Last one, exhale, reach as far as you can, and then bring it up so your back is flat. All right, from there, bend your knees, chair pose as low as you wanna go without bending forward, so your back is straight but not vertical, and you're in a chair, we're warming up the quads, okay? Hands can go anywhere you want. I'm gonna put mine here at the center because I'm real spiritual like that. Staying in this chair pose, we're just going to lift one heel, doesn't matter which one. Try not to shift yourself, just lift the heel, set it down and lift the other. Hold it, set it down, lift the other. Try to only move the knee, don't shift your body weight. Set it down, lift the other, set it down, lift the other, set it down, lift the other. Couple of more times, set it down, lift the other. It's just to dis distract you from your quads, which are probably firing up. Set it down, lift the other really quick, lift both, and up nice and easy. Shake it out, gonna start the flow now. Feet are still, hip width still parallel, hands on hips, bend our knees, step in the right foot back straight. So we still have parallel feet. And it's as far back as I can step with my heel down. So if that's way back here, cool. If it's way up here, cool. Nobody cares. Keep your hips square. Tuck your tailbone and lean back just a little bit. You should feel the stretch in this front flexor, this psoas muscle on the right. Remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. Keep the pelvis neutral. Keep that tailbone tucked under. If your butt goes back, the stretch is gone. You might be really high and really shallow. You might be really deep, but your feet are still parallel. Heel is still down. Now, without moving anything, we're gonna reach the arms up. Right arm reaches down. Little back bend, as far as I can reach. Don't open your hips yet. As far as I can reach, everything stays the same. Hips are still square forward. Back heel is still down. Now I'm going to open it. I'm going to turn the back toes out a little bit. Make this a reverse warrior. It doesn't matter how high you are. Forget about how you look. Think about how you feel right in the warrior pose from here. If you can, widen a little bit. Walk that front foot forward. Arms are out in opposite directions. Looking out over the front fingertips. Remember to breathe. Should be a working posture even though we're not moving. And we're gonna step it up. That's the base of our flow we're gonna to add to it. Let's try it on the other side. Step it up. Set your feet where they should be. Bend your knees. Left foot back as far as you can with the heel down. You might be like three inches back. Who cares? Back leg is straight, front leg is bent. Hips are square. Tuck the tailbone. It might barely move, but you need the sensation that you're stretching that flexor on the back, on the left side. Remember to breathe. Hips are square, shoulders over hips. Let's reach up. Left hand reaches back, perfectly square. Not opening yet. That should intensify the stretch. And now we'll open it, turn the back foot out. Side body stretch, reverse warrior. And let's take it into warrior pose. Whatever you have to do to find your warrior. Maybe you're way the heck up here. As long as the front leg's bent, the back leg is straight. Knee tracks out so you're not jamming up, feeling any tension on the inside. Look down, you should be able to see your toe. 
Make adjustments as you need to. Looking out of the front fingertips. And let's add to that, stepping it up nice and easy. Find your parallel hip width feet. Bend your knees, stepping it back. Same idea. Hips are forward, tailbone is tucked. Even if you can't barely even feel the movement, do the sensation so you intensify the stretch. And breathe. Hold this as long as you want. I like like three to five breaths on most of these. Reach up, right arm back. Little back bend should intensify the stretch. Don't open yet. Remember to breathe. And open now, back toes turn out. Easy little reverse warrior. Remember to breathe. And let's bring it into a warrior A. Find your depth, doesn't matter how low you are. If you're really getting low, don't have your knee in front of your ankle. Track that front foot out. Looking out over the front fingertips, arms in opposite directions. Remembering to breathe. And now we're gonna face the side of the mat. Toes turn sideways. Legs are straight, doesn't matter how wide or how low you go, back is flat. And we're going to forward fold. Maybe you barely get to your knees, that's cool. Maybe you're way up here, that's cool. You're stretching. If you can get low enough, find something to grab. When you're maxed out, round it. Maybe you reach the mat. Maybe you barely get your sweats. Doesn't matter. One more breath. Let's inhale, rise it up. Turn the front foot forward. Try the other side. Feet are hip width and parallel. Bend your knees, stepping it back. As far back as you can go with your heel down. Tuck the tailbone, hips are still square. Remember to breathe, front leg is engaged, should be working that quad. Reach up, left hand back, right hand reaches, little back bend, don't open it up yet. Breathe. And now we'll open it up, turn the back toes out. Easy little reverse warrior. And let's turn it into where you're ready. However you have to adjust those feet, however high you are, that's where you are. Arms in opposite directions, looking out over the front fingertips. Hips are still level, shoulders over hips. Let's turn to the opposite side of the mat, point the toes, hands on hips. You're gonna get the good view here as we forward fold, as far as we can with a flat back. When we max that out, we round and we find something to grab. Maybe it's way up here. Maybe it's way down here. Maybe we've worked with a little more width. And we breathe. One more breath. Up nice and easy. Point the front toes forward. Stepping it up nice and easy. Let's add to that. Feet are hip width and parallel. Bend your knees, step it back, heel down, front leg bent, back leg straight. Neutralize the pelvis, tuck that tailbone. Reach up, right arm back. Little back bend with the left arm high. Don't open the hips yet. If you have to, pull the left hip back to keep the right hip forward. And now we'll open it up, reverse warrior. So about a 45 degree angle or so with your back foot. Front foot points forward. And warrior A, make your adjustments. Should find yourself getting a little bit lower each time, even if it's like a couple inches. Remember to breathe. Let's face the side of the mat. Point the toes, forward fold. As low as we can go, reaching for whatever we can, even if it's really, really high. Round the back when you can't go any further. 
going to go into a little modified flying monkey to the back of the mat. So all I'm going to do is bend the right leg. Maybe I'm all the way on my heel. Maybe I'm way the heck up here. Maybe my heel's off the ground. I want to start by pointing my toes in to stretch this adductor on the inside. So wherever you need to be here, if you can get all the way down in your flying monkey, congratulations, but turn that toe in to look for the adductor. If you're up here, no prob. If you're way up here, no prob. Looking for a little adductor stretch. Now briefly, we're gonna point the toes up for a hamstring stretch. We're gonna stay on the inside and just lean. So if we were flying monkey at the heel, we're going to bring the heel off the ground to bring the body forward. If we're way up here, that's cool. Breathe into it should be a hamstring stretch. So if your toes are still kind of turned in, turn them up, maybe even out a little bit. And remember to breathe. Let's bring it up, bring it forward. Whoa, keep your balance. Feet are hip width and parallel. Bend your knees. Step on the left foot back. Same thing as before. Hips are square. Pelvis neutral. Tuck that tailbone. Reach up. Left hand back. Little back bend with the right arm. If you feel like you're opening, pull that right hip back. Then remember to breathe. Don't open it yet. Let's open it now. Turn the back toes out. Reverse warrior. And warrior right. Adjust those feet as you need. Front toes point forward. Back toes at about a 45. Make sure you track the knee out so you can see your toes. And facing the other side of the mat. Toes point to the side, feet are still parallel. Forward fold, hamstring stretch. You grab what you can, maybe you're reaching through, maybe you got your feet, maybe you got your calves. As long as you're stretching, let your back round. And let's drop it back to that flying monkey. Uh, again, wherever you have to put your heel, traditionally flying monkey has your body inside your knee with your heel down but it doesn't have to be that way. You can be up here, you can be way up here. Turn your toes in, stretching that adductor again. Remember to breathe. Now, if you were down with the heel, lift the heel, turn the back foot a little bit forward, lean forward and point the toes up or out. Maybe you're getting way down here and reaching forward. Maybe you're way the heck up here. It's cool. As long as you're stretching. Remember, your stretch is yours and yours alone. Some people will be lower, some people will be higher, just like lifting weights. Just because you're lifting light doesn't mean you're not working the muscle. Wherever you're at, there you are. Let's come up. Step forward, nice and easy. One more time. Feet are hip width and parallel. Bend your knees, stepping it back. Maybe you find yourself stepping back a little farther because we're starting to open up. Tuck the tailbone. Nice and easy. Inhale up, right hand back. We're still square to the front. A little back bend. And now we'll open it up. Turn the back toes out. Reverse warrior should be a stretch along the side of the body from the armpit to the hip. And warrior A. Make the adjustments that you need to. Every round you should find yourself a little more flexible. Let's turn it to the side of the mat. Forward fold. Back is flat until the last minute. Then we let it round. And then we find flying monkey to the back of the mat. However you're gonna do flying monkey, ball of the foot with the heel up, toes turned in, it's a great place to be. Let's turn the toes up, 
Lift the heel if it was down and bring some body weight forward, stretching that hammy. Way up here, maybe. Hopefully you don't need a block. Hopefully you can bend a teeny bit at the waist, but if you need a block, you need a block. Let's see if I care. No one's watching. Gonna step it up to a runner's lunge from here. Straighten the back leg, heel off the ground, drop the hips. Bring it up to a standing L. So we're trying to have like a right angle, 90 degrees in our hips. It doesn't matter what we do with our hands or our upper body or our shoulders. So we're just trying to stand here. If you can't reach the mat with a straight leg, making an L, bend it just a little bit and keep lifting the leg, the back leg with the hips level. So we're not opening it like a, like a half moon or something. If you can straighten the leg, cool. If you can tall the mat, cool. But the stretch should be felt in the standing leg. Bend it a little if you need to. Get a block if you need to. Now we're going to bend that leg. Bring the back knee to the front calf. Try to straighten our backs. Maybe take our hands off the mat. A little Shiva squat for three, two, one. Set it down. Rise it up. Let's try it on the other side. Feet are still parallel and hip width. Bend the knees. Stepping it back. Heel is flat. Front leg is bent, back leg is straight, hips are square. Tuck that tailbone. Reach up. Back with the left, a little back bend, the hips are still square. Now we'll open them up, turn the back toes out. Reverse warrior. We'll turn it into warrior A. Other side of the mat, two straight legs, flat back, forward fold, reach as low as we can, round when you have to. And flying monkey on the left to the back of the mat. Whatever variation works for you, I'm going to go up high here. Turn the toes in, looking for that adductor stretch. Point the back foot forward a little bit, toes up. Body forward, maybe way forward, maybe way up here, but the stretch is in the right leg. Now we're bringing it right up to that runner's lunge. Back leg straight, back heel off the mat. Drop the hips a little bit. Let's look for that standing L. Remember the L is in the legs. Who cares what your upper body does? So straighten the leg if you can. Lift the back leg, but don't lift the hips. If you have to, sort of internally rotate your thigh to keep that hip down. If you have to bend your front leg a little bit, that's okay. If you're up on blocks, cool. And bend the front leg. Back knee to the front calf. Straighten your spine, not vertical, but straight, as straight as you can, so we're not rounded here. If you want a little challenge, take your hands off. Shiva squat for three, two, one. Set it down. Let's do it again all the way through a little bit faster. Feet are still hip width, still parallel. Bend your knees, stepping it back. High lunge, hips are forward, tailbone is tucked. Reach up, right arm back, left arm up, back bend. Still square to the front of the mat. Now we'll open it up. Reverse warrior. Warrior A. Side of the mat, two straight legs. Split legged forward fold, flat back until you have to round. And then we'll look for our flying monkey. Toes turn in. Reach forward, toes turn up. Up to a lunge. Back leg is straight. Drop the hips. Straighten the front leg, lift the back leg. Looking for an L shape or pretty close. Tap, right knee, left calf. Maybe take your hands off if you're into it for three, two, one, other side. 
Step that right foot down. Rise up nice and easy. Feet are still hip width, still parallel. You can do it, stiffies. Last side. Stepping it back. High lunge. Back heel is flat. Front leg bent. Back leg straight. Hips are square. Reaching it up. Left arm back. Little back bend. Reaching with the right. Don't open yet. And open now. Reverse warrior. And remember to breathe. Let's find where you're at. Whatever you have to, adjust your feet. Maybe you're still high. Maybe you're way out here now. Good for you. Facing the other side of the mat. Feet are parallel. Straight legs, flat back. Forward fold until you have to round. Flying monkey to the rear. Up on the toes if you need. Straight front leg, toes pointing. Adductor stretch. Lean it forward, toes point up. As far as you can reach. Let's find that runner's lunge to the front of the mat. Back leg straight, front leg bent. Home stretch here, we're about to test those handies. Straighten the front leg, lift the back leg, little bend if you need to, looking for an L shape, internally rotate the lifted thigh. Tap that left knee to the right calf, straight back. If you can, one hand off, two hands off, Shiva squat, three, two, one. Feet together, rise up nice and easy. Let's do that test. Three forward folds for the hands. Feet are still hip width and parallel. Forward fold. How much farther down do you reach? Hopefully a lot more, at least a little more. If you didn't get any farther at all, send me a message, I'll give you your money back. As far as we can reach, next two we're gonna find a grip to pull to get a couple extra inches. So we'll come up nice and easy. Find the lowest, farthest back grip you can get. If that's the back of your knees, cool. If it's your calves, cool. If it's behind with your forearms, cool. Pull down, pull back. Like you're trying to fold in half. Remember to breathe. For three, two, one. Up nice and easy. One more. Last one. Best one of the day. Big inhale, big exhale. Whatever grip you can get to pull down toward the mat and back between your legs. Five, four, Three, two, one. Really easy hip stretch to finish off for tight people. We're not even gonna sit down. All we're gonna do is put our hands on our hips, poke one hip out and back. So you should feel a big stretch near your glute, that piriformis on the very side of your hip. If you're having a hard time catching it, stand up straight, poke out as far as you can. You should feel a little bind in the hip joint and then butt back to a 45 degree angle. You can move it a little bit. You can reach if you want to intensify. It's a great way to stretch that hip to kind of like a pigeon pose movement without getting down on the mat and without adding any stress to your knee or anything. You can do this standing up at work or waiting in the line at the, at the bank if you want to try that, it's totally up to you. No judgment. Upright, let's try the other side. Left hip pokes as far as it goes, and then butt out. So there's a slight, slight bend in the left leg and a big bend in the right leg, and you might have to kind of angle to find your sweet spot. You might reach a little, but don't unkink, don't unhook the stretch. If you reach and relax and put the weight in the right leg, it's over. As long as you need it, I can't be here all day, so I'm gonna finish this off with mountain pose. Feet together, engage the ankles, engage the lower leg, the quad, neutralize the pelvis, engage the core, shoulders, arms, scapula together, chin off the chest. Let's squeeze everything we can one time from the fingertips up to the jaw, down through the chest, the core, the hips, the legs, the toes for three, Two, 
one, let it all go. Hopefully that works for you. If you're stiff, yoga is how you get unstiff. If you like the machine, don't forget to like and subscribe. Namaste. But the whole point of the machine is to relieve you of that suffering.